Welcome to War Thunder with Subdued. How y'all doing today? Well, I had the privilege and the pleasure of introducing you all to the AU-1 Corsair. Now, there's been a couple of people who have already reviewed this, so I'm not going to go into a whole lot other than the fact that this was an up-armored and beefed up Corsair. The only thing is, it was built specifically for the Marines for close air support. As such, they did not put a two-stage supercharger into it. They only put in a single-stage supercharger, which is why this plane acts much different than the regular F4Us. It is a good plane in its own right. Just remember, it's a heavier plane because it's up armored. It's also not as maneuverable. So when you're flying the AU-1, you're going to see that it does not handle like a Corsair. It's going to handle more like an AD-2 or an AD-4 or an AM-1. Matter of fact, it has the same bomb load, as you can see, as a AD-2 or an AD-4. Actually, it's a few fewer rockets. But... Well, how many rockets does this thing have? This thing has... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, ten. Ten rockets. Yeah, if we look at the AD-4, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have twelve rockets. So, it doesn't have quite as many rockets as the ADs. But, it's also a fighter. Now, once you get rid of all the ordnance, I'm sure that it will operate considerably better than an 82 or an 84 or or god knows it'll anything will outperform an am1 that thing is just a tank it's a fat slow tank but it's got 420 millimeters which is good and apparently they've made it so that the American 20 millimeters will now penetrate the top of tanks at their battle rating. Um, but, you know, two 1,000 pound bombs and a 2,000 pound bomb, if you feel like taking out a base, you can do that with this plane. All in all, it's going to be a decent plane in mixed battles. Uh, it can carry three tiny Tims, or two tiny Tims and a bomb. Well, let's just go through the weapons loads. Ten 250-pound bombs. Three 500-pound bombs. Six 500-pound bombs. Nine 500 pound bombs. Three 1000s. Three 1000s and 10 250s. Six 500s and three 1000s. Uh, 1600 pound armor piercing bomb times three. Six 500s, two 1600s, and a 2,000 pound bomb. That's a lot of ordnance. 10 HVARs, two 1000s, two 2000s. You, you get the picture here. This thing can have a lot of different ordnance loadouts. 
including this one, which ought to be one of the favorites in ground attack and ship attack. Three Tiny Tims and six 500-pounders. That ought to put a hole in something. Um, but this plane isn't going to be one of my go-to planes for ground attack. Mainly because it'll probably end up with an air start. Well, no, if it gets an air start, it won't be too bad. Give it an attacker start, it won't be too bad. But a lot of people are going to try and play it as a fighter and try to climb with it, only to find out it does not climb. It's going to be an interesting plane, but again, it's a much heavier plane. It does not have a two-stage supercharger, and that is going to hold it back. As an attacker, it won't be bad. As a fighter, I wouldn't want to tangle with anything. I mean, a biplane might give it a hard time. Well, biplanes give everything a hard time because they're so maneuverable. But this is what we're, this is a plane that I got my hands on for one reason. It looks cool as hell. And that's all I can say about it. Uh, the weapons loadout, freaking awesome. But it's not the thing I'm worried about. It looks great. That's all I can say. That's all I'm worried about. My next acquisition will be the SD KFZ or KFC or whatever, Kentucky Fried Colonel, the, the Puma 20. Now, some people are going, it's not a Puma. Uh, guess what? I don't care what you think. It's a Puma 20. Just like we have the Puma, then we have the Puma Short 75, and we have the Puma Long 75. The frame is the Puma. The weapon is different. So, that's about all I got today. This is T Subdude signing off. Y'all have a pleasant today, a better tomorrow, and we'll catch you in the sky in Air Realistic on the good maps. Oh yeah, you get 33 repairs. We'll probably see a lot of people burning through the repairs. Good night, folks. Take care.